Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to my new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an interactive pull-down effect animation using PowerPoint's Morph Transition. This feature will enhance your presentations and elevate your PowerPoint skills to the next level. So let's get started. To begin, open Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 365 for this tutorial, and I will start with a blank slide. Make sure to delete all the elements on the slide, and we're going to change the background to black, and ensure that this applies to all slides. Next is we will add some shapes under the Insert tab. Click Shapes, and then select the rectangular shape. Drag the shape onto your slide, and then customize the shape by removing the outline and changing its color. For instance, you can choose the color rust, red, or something orange. And we're going to remove the outline. Now let's duplicate this rectangle by copying and pasting it. Place it next to the previous rectangle. Change its color. For example, you can use the color dark blue. And then repeat this process for as many rectangles as you need. For this third rectangle, I will change the color to like this green color. And this will be my last rectangular shape. And I will color it as yellow. Now we're going to group these rectangles together. Select them all, right click and then group. Then adjust their sizing to fit the entire slide. Once they are perfectly sized, you can ungroup them for further customization. For the next step, let's add a circle shape. Under the insert tab, select the circle shape and drag it onto the slide. And then position it just like this. Now we're going to copy the circle shape for each rectangle, making sure that a small part of the circle extends slightly outside the slide for additional design. Now, to create a punch hole effect in our rectangles, follow this step. First, select the rectangular shape, then the circle shape, and then click the shape format, Click on Merge Shape and then choose Subtract. This action will create a hole in the rectangular shape where we can later add our icons. Now that we are all set, we can now add our text. We have here a text about fire, water, earth, and air which are the four elements. So I'm using the font Agrandir Family here. So after that, we can um, position this text accordingly onto our slide, just like this. And after that, we can now add our icons. So these icons of fire, water, earth, and air. So these icons came from Microsoft PowerPoint 365 stock library and make sure that they are positioned onto the punch hole that we just created earlier. So these icons, you can get them under the insert tab and then icons. And then you can search for the icons that you need. For example, here fire. So let's search here droplets. So you can see here it here. And we can also search for leaves, which I used for the earth. And just like that, we have already prepared our main slide. Now we're going to add four blank slides since we have four elements. Ensure that each of the slides is blank and colored black. Next, let's add hyperlinks for each icon. For example, right click on the fire icon and then select link and then hyperlink it to slide number two. And then click OK. Now when you click this icon, it will take you to slide 2. Repeat this process for the water icon linking it to slide number 3. The leaves icon link it to slide number 4. 
And finally, the hot air balloon icon link it to slide number 5. We have set up this hyperlink so there's no need to redo them onto the next slide. Now we move all the elements on the main slide upwards ensuring that some colors and icons are still visible. Just like this, the color and the icons are still visible from the top. And now we're going to add our title. For this instance, we're going to add the title the four elements. Now it's time for the magic to happen. We are going to copy all the elements including the rectangles and icons onto the next slide. Just like this. Since we are on slide number 2, we will focus on the elements related to fire and we will drag them down as shown. Just like this. Perfect. Now moving on to the next slide, we will paste the elements from the main slide which is slide number 1 and then pull down the elements related to water. For the subsequent slides, like the one for leaves, we will continue to drag the elements down in a similar manner. We will repeat this process until we reach the final element, which is the air. We will just drag the elements related to air and then pull it down just like this. And now we have successfully set up the pull down effect animation for each slide. Now it's time to add the morph transition to all slides for the magic to happen under the transition tab we will click the morph transition and make sure to apply it to all slides so we can adjust also the timing to 1.75 seconds but you can really customize it however you want and here is now the final output for this tutorial as you can see, we have successfully achieved an interactive pull-down effect animation here in Microsoft PowerPoint. When we click on each icon, the respective rectangles will be pulled down. This tutorial or feature can be incredibly helpful for creating dynamic and interactive slides in your presentation. And that's basically it. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you have any questions, clarifications, or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Again, this is Gamo Edits, and thank you for watching.